headed up to Chain Ranch, northwestern Oklahoma. Pretty excited. We've got a group of hunters coming in from every part of the, the country. We've got some guys coming in from Phoenix, Dallas, Vermont, and uh, Maryland. So it's going to be a good week. Looking forward to it. Temperatures are dropping. They're saying there's snow in the forecast, which is unheard of for this time of year for us. And it's going to be a good week. Dustin, hey. nice to finally meet you. You ready to have me? Yeah, you ready for a good week? I am. I am. I'm looking forward to this. Dude, this I saw first time here. I saw bucks chasing does driving up here. Way in. Yeah, they're, they're, all, they're on the ditches too, sides of the ditches, so they're they're running. Okay, cool. I look forward to that. Then. Should be a good week. Yeah. The Chain Ranch is a sixth generation owned and operated family business, which is actually comprised of four ranches in Oklahoma and three in Kansas. The ranch's primary product is beef cattle, but there's also wind power and, of course, plenty of hogs, turkeys, and deer to hunt. The Chain Ranch has a very unique history. Uh, the Chain Ranch was established in 1893 by Oscar Chain. Uh, he was fortunate enough to run into a gentleman that uh, wanted to sell his piece of land and he had a single shot 12 gauge shotgun and $50 cash in his pocket and that is what the Chain Ranch started from. Chain Ranch has opportunities at all kinds of animals. There's hogs, there's turkeys, there's deer, there's coyotes, you name it. If it's a, a prairie animal in the Midwest, Chain Ranch has it. First time in Oklahoma, I was Super excited to be here uh, as a as a land manager and a property manager back home in the state of Maryland. I uh, I spent a lot of time managing deer, but they don't get as big as they do out here in Oklahoma. And I was excited to come to the Midwest and, and just see what it was all about. And usually we bring one group of six or eight people into Oklahoma, and the same in Kansas. And that's the only groups of hunters that will hunt because we try to manage our deer herds. Uh, and they're all free range deer herds. We try to manage that to where when we bring our guests in, they've got quality animals to shoot at. So the day before everybody got here and we picked them up from the airport, the weather changed fast. We were expecting temperatures in the 50s, 60s all week. No, that didn't happen. We got four inches of snow dumped on us. This is probably the earliest I can remember snow being dumped on Oklahoma before Thanksgiving like that. And it just made for freezing temperatures. We were all shivering in our stands and blinds that first morning. It's totally worth it. The Nation Whitetail is brought to you by Browning Trail Cameras. By Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. By Sever Broadheads straight through it by primal tree stands and by Remington, America's oldest gun maker. Coming up. Our first morning, um, yeah, we had a couple couple does come in. Uh, one came in just before shooting light, so we, you know, we watched her for a little bit and she, she came in and walked away and you know, I, I told Abby, I said, you know, if that if that doe happens to turn around and come back in, and you know, it, it's a legal shooting light, I'm I'm definitely going to take a shot at it. When destination Whitetail returns. These are just some of the images you'll find here at the Chain Ranch near Canton, Oklahoma. But there's also a few more the ranch is known for. We came to the Chain Ranch in Northwest Oklahoma because the uh, company I work for, we've been up here almost 12 times, 12, 13 times over the years and we've always had good success on our hunts. Um, we, we've never left deer camp without almost everybody in camp successfully harvesting a buck. So we knew we had to get back up here. We timed it perfect with the rut. And we have a, a distinct list of what can be hunted in the morning, what can be hunted in the evening, and exactly which direction of wind we can hunt that particular setup at. 
immediately you knew you were in good hands and uh, it was a lot of fun just 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 the ride and the talks and that's you know what camp's about and what a lot of these trips are about <laughs> We were testing out the new Burris Oracle laser range finding bow sight. It's got a built-in laser range finder with a drop compensating pin. You aim, you push a button, it tells you where to shoot. It was, it was great. Our first morning, um, yeah, we had a couple, couple does come in. Uh, one came in just before shooting light, so we, you know, we watched her for a little bit, and she she came in, and walked away, and you know, I, I told Abby, I said, you know, if that if that doe happens to turn around and come back in, and you know, it, it's a legal shooting light, I'm I'm definitely going to take a shot at it. We did see a buck that morning, actually, uh, just out of range. wasn't uh, you know We weren't too sure if it was a if it was an Oklahoma shooter or not, but it was just out of range anyway. So we're just ending our first morning hunt here in Oklahoma. We've got a doe shot a little far back, but I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, we had a buck come in shortly after that doe came out and uh, touched up his scrape, gave us a little bit of a show. It was a little too far out of reach for us and a uh, good opportunity for us to see some deer. I think they'll be moving this week. Temperatures are cold. We're getting out of the blind. We're going to try to warm our feet. We're going to head out and track this doe. So she's standing right about here. I was on the backside corner of that, that blind, so I would, I'd have to think the arrow hit. I mean, it was a full pass through. I have to come back here. That looks like a trace right there of an arrow. There it is, right there. That opened up pretty good. Start getting some blood, this blood right there. Hey. <laughs> all right. Well, she didn't go far at all, did she? Yeah, she did. Now, I wasn't too sure. Given the shot, I mean, that coming out of the blind like that, I, I'm normally in a stand or I'm kind of hunting from the ground, but it looks like it kind of, I mean, maybe you got a little bit of lung and liver, but it's not too bad, huh? Yeah, I mean, it worked out all right. She left us a good blood trail, easy to follow, and she could go maybe, what, 120 yards, 130 yards, and yeah, my first Oklahoma doe. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. I guess I got one thing left to do now, though. Fill my buck tag. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. Visit sportsmansguide.com today and see why they're the place to go to get where you want to be outdoors. Find the very best deals on the latest gear for hunting, shooting, camping, and everything else under the stars to fuel your passion. Shop sportsmansguide.com.
We're in the heat of the rut here at the Chain Ranch in Oklahoma. The ranch itself is 70,000 plus acres. We have a total of what we call seven different ranch locations. This is the main location right here. Uh, we're 10 miles west of Canton, Oklahoma. This morning they put us out on a spot called the Lucky Irish. They've had numerous deer taken off there in the past, nice bucks, and uh, it was our turn to sit in that spot. The weather was a little bit warmer than it has been, but deer were still moving around, and we just had does coming in from, from all directions. And we saw lots of activity this morning. We didn't have a buck come in, but we were bound and determined to go back there tonight, and that's what we did. So Abby and I were in the blind tonight, hoping that Mr. Big Buck was gonna walk through, uh, but a doe walked through and gave me a perfect shot at 26 yards. I really didn't wanna pass her up because honestly, I gotta fill my freezer. And she was big. get her out of here and take her back home and put her in the freezer. I am so blessed to be able to, to shoot that doe. It just makes me seriously happy. All right, let's go get that doe. It's all the people problems. That's what we want to see. Passed all the way through, lots of bubbles in the blood. She's dead. That way. Oh yeah, she's really starting to fade. Hey, there she is right there. Can't believe she didn't bleed more than she did. That shot was perfect. You couldn't ask for a more ethical kill. She is gonna feed my family well. Whew. You know, for some people, this might just be a doe, but for a lot of people across the United States, this is food. This is what we eat. This is what we put on the table. And I can't be more thankful for this doe. I'm as thankful for her as I would be a massive buck, and that is true. Destination Whitetail is brought to you by Antler King, bigger bucks, healthier deer. By Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. By Ten Point Crossbow Technologies, there is no substitute. Get armed and deadly with Easton FMJ arrows. And by Matthews Archery. This is Deer Tech TV, the best in outdoor technology. Powered by Browning Trail Cameras. 
Hello, I'm Ryan Hennig with Burris Optics and today I'll be showing you the Oracle by Burris. Burris Oracle is a range-finding bow sight that gives you trajectory compensation. It's all aluminum construction with precision adjustments and locking adjustments on it. Uh, the beauty of the Oracle is that it'll range your distance and give you an exact aiming point. When you program the Oracle, it'll learn the trajectory of your shot. The Oracle has a built-in inclinometer, so it'll automatically adjust for shots at a sharp angle down or up. You mount the press button on your bow wherever you'd like it, press that, and it'll instantly give you the range and the aiming point, even while at full draw. The sight has a fixed 20-yard pin, so if there's any failure on the sight, you have a 20-yard pin that you can use, and it also has a default pin array. You press and hold the button, and it'll give you 10-yard increments of all of your pins out to about 90 yards. There is no glass to glare, fog, or scratch, so it's a very field-worthy sight, and we've had great success with it in the field. You know, a lot of people always ask me, what's your favorite broadhead, or what broadhead should I use? The answer is simple, it's the one you have the most confidence in. I always say that because if you have confidence in a broadhead, chances are it's going to get the job done or it has in the past and will in the future. However, if you don't have a confidence broadhead yet, the new Sever is worth checking out. Look at this bad boy. Titanium, rear deployed, look how compact it is. Chisel point, I love a chisel point in any broadhead, but when those blades come out, it rips a hole. I shot a deer last year in Nebraska with the prototypes for these and I could not believe the hole it put in the deer. Oh yeah. It actually stretches the hide to get a stretch cut which is enormous and there was no problems following the blood trail. Wow. Stretched out. Stretched out. Oh. Some other unique features here. You can put a set screw in here, locks the blades in place. You can then use it as a practice head. You don't have to guess whether the practice heads are the same as the broadhead. You can use the same broadhead, make sure that it stays sharp. With the titanium, you really don't have to worry about that. And away you go. Uh, easy components, you can replace the blades, and there's your tools, an Allen key and uh, a blade wrench. It's that simple. Yeah, 2.1 inch cut, titanium, sever. If you haven't checked them out, severbroadheads.com. Hey, this is Clint with Sever. We're here in Illinois. I'm hunting at Performance Outdoors. I'm chasing some monster whitetails. This morning, I was fortunate enough to take a doe uh, with a severed head, and, and I'm excited to talk about it. This is just insane. It's just like painting the ground red. This makes trailing easy. It's the first animal we've taken with the head, and it performed fantastic. Clean kill on the heart, broke the far shoulder. This is our new Sever all-purpose 1.7 inch head. It is different from the original Sever 2.1 inch head for a couple of reasons. First of all, the ferrule is an aluminum ferrule and it has a stainless steel tip. We did this so that we could uh, bring the price down and, and have a little bit more affordable choice for people who want uh, a, a more of a value priced head. Um, then the head is, differs in its features a little bit. It's instead of a 2.1 inch cut with the original Sever, this is a 1.7 inch. Um, also the blade angle is more swept back I'm going to hold up an original sever here, and you can see just the difference in the two heads. The blade angle on the all-purpose head um, is a little bit different blade angle there. If you're a short draw shooter, if you're a lower poundage shooter, um, if you're hunting a bigger animal, a bigger thicker skinned animal, and you care more about penetration versus a big hole. You know, I personally, I'm, I'm a big hole broadhead guy. I personally prefer the 2.1, but I've been getting a lot of people, especially elk hunters back west, that want a smaller diameter cut broadhead. 
um, for you know bigger animals because they value penetration. You know, our tagline is straight through it. And you know, as I've seen it over and over in the field, the arrows just go straight through the animal. There's no deflection. You can take steep quartering shots and the performance is just very predictable. And so if you haven't had a chance to try some sever heads yet, I encourage you to visit our website at severbroadheads.com.